Hey guys, this is Yoga and uh, today we're going to talk about one of the most important uh, roadblocks while you start up uh, your Pythometic. Okay, you have set up everything like um, you have your Docker in place. You want to install a Docker in your uh, <coughs> in your uh, system, but so the, how do you install your Docker? You, you go to store.docker.com and uh, here after it loads store.docker.com there are two ways so if your uh, machine is uh, windows uh, uh, 10 enterprise version and it uh, <coughs> windows 10 enterprise enterprise version and uh, and uh, uh, if it's windows 10 enterprise version it would actually support uh, something called as uh, a hyper v by default okay but uh, you need to enable the hyper v Okay, I'll let you know how to enable the Hyper-V. So you can see that this is my uh, Windows 10 Enterprise version. So it should have uh, uh, Hyper-V installed by default. Okay, just you need to go and enable it. Okay, and um, yeah, like uh, by, by going to this particular the Docker store, right, you have two editions. So one is a community edition, which is there. And if it's uh, you're running on Windows 10 Enterprise version, Windows 10 Plus version, then you would be, you know, uh, uh, you would uh, try to get this particular get Docker C, okay, C edition. So the C edition is nothing but the Docker edition, uh, committed edition. What uh, since I'm installing on Windows, so I'll look for a Windows uh, one. So Docker community edition for Windows. Uh, uh, my system is 64 bit. So I'll go and uh, uh, download this particular exe and I'll install. Okay, so what you get with this particular exe is uh, you get few packages. Okay, so one uh, thing is that this is the Docker C for stable version, which you'll be downloading. Okay, and um, so you'll getting the three things. You'll get Docker Compose with this. And um, so I have already downloaded. I'll just pause this one and um, <clears throat> yeah the usage instructions you can see and the usage instructions you'll have uh, should have the details of what we are going to install with this particular stuff uh, we'll have docker compose okay I'll leave it uh, that's what like that that's why we install uh, docker c on a windows 10 plus okay Mm, 10 systems and if if you want to you know uh, uh, if you are having a uh, system like uh, if you want to install for your windows 8 or other versions less than uh, less than uh, the 10 versions then you actually need to install docker toolbox okay the exe would be you can search and the exe would be something like this um, for docker toolbox you get uh, with docker toolbox you get uh, the virtual box and uh, yeah, this is a tool, uh, docker toolbox.exe. Okay, you get a uh, uh, like um, uh, what you get when you install a docker toolbox is uh, you get a Oracle VM virtual box because uh, uh, it defaultly takes if you don't have Windows 10, you don't have Hyper V, or I mean, which means that you don't have any virtualization tools uh, on your laptop. So it either need to install Oracle VM or or any any VMware other softwares. Again, okay, instead of that, it what it would do is that it would install Oracle VM virtual box with it and Docker for Windows and something called as uh, Kitematic. Okay, no, not for Docker for Windows. Uh, with Docker Quick Start Terminal Oracle. So if you're going and installing using Docker Toolbox, you'll have these three things: Oracle VM Virtual Box, Docker Quick Start Terminal, and Kitematic would be on your desktop. But if you go and install uh, something called as with Docker C for Windows 10 Plus versions or any Mac OS, then you'll get this particular uh, uh, icon which says that um, um, it runs up with a little bit, uh, a little small icon like this. Okay, and you have Kitematic with this. When you click Kitematic, it would open up. It doesn't have, you know, a default uh, icon like this. And you have the whole document store and the Docker store. Okay, so you can create a Docker store account. Okay, for that you need a username, uh, credentials. You need to provide. You need to sign up for a Docker store. So once you have Docker store account, you can actually create up your own host, everything. Okay, and. Uh, the main issue when you know set up everything, it 
it would be fine okay so most of the time if your system doesn't support your oracle vm box will going to be you know crash at some other other time okay and whenever you know you actually uh, uh, basically run oracle vm virtual box and then uh, the kitematic okay so basically when you run for the very first time you'll have this kind of issues okay this computer is running a hyper v virtual box uh, won't boot uh, 64 bits when hyper v is activated okay please to skip this you can go and virtual box no vtx check okay so vtx check is nothing but uh, it's a it's a hyper v or you know virtualization uh, option which comes in system options and bios setup okay you can you should go to you know turn off your particular machine go to your bios and you know uh, you need to switch on the vtx so, so when you switch on your virtualization so the vtx virtualization technology uh, so it uh, switch on your hyper v that only applicable only when it's uh, windows uh, 10 plus versions okay you can check this there's a window so i went and uh, you know enabled on the bios the virtualization so uh, it shows enabled in my task manager so once that is done still you will be running I'm, I'm i'm having this particular issue okay so even like if you install c edition okay you need to go and run kitematic okay so when i run kitematic i face this particular of a particular kind of issues okay so what it does is like it's trying to kitematic is trying to create a you know default ubuntu machine on your hyper v okay since it's not uh, you know uh, this kitematic and oracle vm box would be used only if it is you know it's windows uh, less versions of windows okay and uh, for that for for windows less versions of people like what they can do is like you need to run the oracle vm virtual box first and then the kitematic okay when you do that it uh, the kitematic would create a default uh, linux machine linux virtual machines and the oracle vm virtual box okay so so there would be a virtual box default uh, virtual vm called as default would be created if you are running kitematic and then you have the complete environment you know the linux environment to you know because all the docker commands are uh, runs on your linux box okay so or the containers or whatever host or machines what you're going to create would be done with the help of a linux machine okay so you want uh, a linux machine at the first place so if you are running less than windows 10 then go ahead open your oracle vm box first and then the kitematic uh, next then it will create a, a linux machine properly <clears throat> if not then uh, like even for the windows 10 users so what kind of issues uh, they would be having is when they run kinematic they will have this kind of issues so there are two ways of uh, solving this for for windows 10 uh, plus uh, customers so what they can do is like they can go uh, what happens is when you try to create it either uh, not able to you know get a connection because linux vm you create right you need to actually attach with your uh, nat okay or with your ethernet card okay and if it's not happening then it would throw up an error so what you can do is like uh, when you open a hyper v uh, manager so after you enable your hyper v manager uh, in bios and also you need to enable uh, in your <coughs> settings go at to go to your windows features okay and uh, enable this check mark this hyper v and v platforms and click ok and then uh, you will have this particular uh, ui getting uh, I mean displayed up okay so defaultly you won't get this particular Ubuntu VM running up okay so what you need to do is like you need to go to virtual uh, switch manager and you need to actually create an external switch okay I just create uh, the virtual switch okay once I'm done uh, let me uh, I have already created once you click that make sure that you clicked on external so once I have created like that, so I've created uh, saying virtual switch main, primary virtual switch for Hyper-V VMs <coughs> and everything is by default. If you have multiple NICs, then you know you need to uh, take care of selecting a right switch and then click OK. So once you have done that, uh, you will have, uh, you need to run one more script. Okay, so you need to run a partial script. Okay, so you would be running like this, Docker machine create, uh, the hyper v hyper v virtual switch and the virtual switch main so i give the uh, virtual switch main right so name as virtual switch main in here uh, the name of this one okay virtual switch so you would uh, enter that 
but it would run a pre-check on this but you need to keep in mind that you need to run with an administrative permission so what i did is like i went and run with an administrative permission uh, once i run it actually takes a image cache directory it does not exist and it would create a cache directory for this particular docker vm which it's going to create a ubuntu vm which it's going to create on hyper v okay and it would download that uh, you know boot to docker iso okay so this is a basic default i uh, Linux <coughs> Linux machine which would be installed uh, either on uh, uh, either on Hyper V or even on the Oracle VM box. Okay, so it would uh, show you up here boot to uh, Docker dot iso boot to Docker iso is booting up. Okay, the same thing happened that it creates SSH keys, it creates a VM, and it starts and it just wait for the host to uh, start. Okay, once we uh, have that, you can see that uh, my Hyper-V is running with this particular default machine. So I'll just connect, you can see this particular thing. It's uh, boot to Docker, uh, you know, uh, the OS which it had installed so that uh, we can run our basic commands on uh, the basic Docker commands on it. Okay, so that's it. that's a way where, you know, you uh, run or the you know avoid this particular obstacle which is happening and the same thing since since skytomatic is uh, thrown me error for the first time so let me go again and now my hyper v is having a default os let me go and open the skytomatic so i have already downloaded what i do is like a you need to paste your skytomatic uh, once you download that skytomatic for windows 10 you need to place it in um, in program file uh, files docker and then skytomatic folder you can open this kitematic.exe so uh, what i'll do is like i'll just send this kitematic.exe to my desktop as a shortcut so it this is okay i'll just close it up let me try with uh, our Oracle VM box is running. So for Windows 10 and I'll done Kitematic on top. So if everything is current, it should create a, a default. Uh, yeah, for Windows 8 plus, you need to actually modify uh, modify your script. Uh, let me shop. Uh, the uh, the where, where you need to modify script is uh, you need to go to something called as folder such as yeah you have your uh, docker toolbox folder okay so after you install your toolbox the docker toolbox.exe you have this folder created so you have something called a start.sh okay you need to open this with an admin permission administrator permission so once you open uh, that with administrator permission you can actually modify uh, this file Okay, uh, let me show up. Okay, I'll just go and edit this particular file. Okay, the main error which uh, the you know when I run this particular kitematic uh, local, I run this kitematic right, it, 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 it is throwing an error. Okay, so the error says that I'm going to install yeah calling machine driver name host already exists. Yes, since we are already running in Hyper-V, so it says this particular issue error. Okay, but since it's already running, that's why it's throwing error. But if you don't do that, then what you know, uh, like uh, this is start.sh, uh, you need to search some command like this. Uh, yes, this is a command. Uh, you'll have command as uh, this will not be enabled virtual box no vth check will not be there it would be there create d virtual virtual box and virtual box uh, check it would be there okay you need to replace with this particular command in this particular start.sh so once you have done that you can save it and uh, run your oracle vm first box first and then automatic that should run fine since i have my uh, c you know uh, the hyper v on top of hyper v i am running this particular uh, already the host docker host so it will it will not try to uh, run it again okay so that's what hope uh, this fixes up uh, your issues and keep sharing